this is your girl, Goss Beauty. Welcome back to another episode of Word and Makeup. Thank you all so much for your likes, your feedback. I truly, truly, truly appreciate them and I read through every one of them and I'm making the necessary adjustments, okay? Thank you. I would like to also thank everyone that has subscribed to the channel and is, you guys are constantly always um, sharing the video with other people. Truly, thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you're new to this channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, this show is about, you know, talking about God's word and also doing makeup. So please, 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 please consider, you know, subscribing. I would truly encourage you to subscribe, okay? All right, let's get right into it. Last word for you today is renewal of mind. Romans 12 verse 2 says, And be, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. How do you renew your mind? You may ask me. And the very first point that I'm going to mention to you is by reading God's word at all times. If you read God's word at all times, it helps you to renew your mind. It helps you to keep your mind afresh and on godly things. Number two, guard your heart for everything you do flows from it by watching what you let into your heart. That's found in Proverbs 4.23. Filter your conversations, filter your movies, filter the things around you. Let your heart be solely focused on God. Let your mind be on things above. Why should you renew your mind? I would like to share with you three reasons why I believe you should renew your mind daily. Number one, it will help you align yourself with God and constantly cleaning out the waste and putting new healthy thoughts in you. There are so many thoughts that run through our minds daily that if we don't stay on God's word, if we don't read God's word, it can really, really pollute our mind. Number two, you will always work in God's purpose for your life and you will have an understanding of your identity of who you are and God's purpose for you. Number three, by renewing your mind through the word of God, it helps you know you're right in God and what to accept and what to reject. Let me explain. You'll be able to reject the lies of the enemy and claim the benefits of being in Christ Jesus. In conclusion, let me leave you with this word in Psalms 119 verse 11. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. I would like to encourage you to constantly renew your mind by reading God's word. Okay, let's get right into the makeup of today. The makeup of today, we're gonna be planning some glitters, so join me. Okay, so for today, I haven't put on my foundation or anything, so I want to show you my foundation process. And this is not necessary to say that this is how you should do it, but this is how I do it. Um, I don't have much time, so I just do it as fast as I can. I'm going to put my moisturizer and then my primer right on top. Use my hands to work it into my skin. I always find a cheaper one um, in Walmart, anywhere. Any moisturizer that you use is okay. I find that this works for me. So next, I'm going to be applying my primer all over my face. This step is another step that I do the translucent medium deep powder it actually comes with a little sheen to it it's the glow I want the extra glow underneath my foundation. I do the, I do this step. At this at this point, if you have any areas that you want to color correct, you can go ahead and do a color correction with your orange or whatever you use to color correct. You can correct all the problem spots that you have in your face. I generally don't do that. I just go right into my foundation at this time. 
I know some people do that and you could do that if you please. I'm gonna be using both of my foundations. I'm gonna be using my Lancome foundation and this is a 465 and I'm going to be using my Spiced Rum um, Born This Way. I'm gonna be using my Lancome in the center of my face and I'm gonna be using my um, Born This Way which is a little darker on the outside just so that it's a, um, it's much, I want to create the lighter um, look like a highlighted look in, in the center of my face so to just better give a much lighter effect so to speak I'm going to be doing that generally I would encourage you to use the same um, brand of foundation I just learned that these two work together for me but if you're using like a born this way foundation then you should probably get one shade lighter or if you're using Lancome then you should just get one shade lighter than your actual shade to be able to create the highlight look but I just find that Lancome and born this way work well for me so but that's something that I wanted to also mention so you don't have to get two different brands, whatever you, brand that you do use. You could use um, one shade that's yours and a shade lighter to create the highlight in the center of your face. So this is what the finished look is once I finish putting on my foundation. And I'm a mom, so I need to, <laughs> I need something that's really quick for me. So this is, this is what I do and it's, it's quick and easy and gets me looking gorgeous. <laughs> Sorry, that's my son in the background, if you can hear him. <laughs> the next step is the brows. So go ahead and comb the brows out. I'm going to be using Pro to line my brows and to just give it a more thicker look. So go ahead and shape your brows in. Follow the natural brow lines. <clears throat> Unless you want to create a totally new different brow that's a different story, but I follow my natural brows. I just kind of follow the, the pattern which they're going. I'm gonna try to create anything new, really. So, <clears throat> if you're liking what you're seeing, please, please, please give it a thumbs up. <laughs> okay, for my brows, I'm going to be using the um, Pro Concealer LA Girl, and I'm going to be using Fawn for um, the the end part of my brows and I'm going to be using my exact shade of foundation for the front. I explained in details why I'm doing this step in my last video, which was fair. So please um, check that video out to get a much detailed reason why I just use um, the lighter concealer in the, in, towards the end here and then, and also, and then use my foundation in the front. So this is essentially what you end up with. Up next, I'm going to be priming my lids with um, the eyeshadow primer. Any one that you have is okay. I'm gonna hit to prime my lid and um, I want mm -hmm. to encourage you to definitely prime your lids before you put your eyeshadow on because if you don't then 
it's not gonna last all day. Once you sweat, you still have in the crease right there in the center of your eyes. So we don't want all that. So try to always prime your lids before you pack on your eyeshadow and let it last longer. Okay, let's get right into putting the shadows on. I'm going to be um, putting in my crease some, some background colors. That's what I personally call it. Um, so I'm going to be using colors. Sorry, that shadow is kind of broken. I'm going to be using that color, this color, and this color. I'm going to start with this one, then move on to this one, and then this darker shade. So you start with the lighter color. You put it just right there. So use a fluffy brush like this. And just put pack the colors on right in there. Then the next color, which is this one, I'm going to put it right in my crease there. And then just open it up a little bit. I'm using the same brush. Bear with me, I'm a mom. I don't have time to switch my brushes sometimes. <laughs> but it is good, you know, if you want to switch your brush, switch your brush, um, having a couple of them around and you know, using different brushes for different colors, it was probably, you know, a good practice. <laughs> Okay, so you can already kind of see what that is doing for, you know, to the eye. Giving you some nice, like some depth in there. And the last color I'm going to be using is a darker one. Right in there, that shade. I'm placing it right there in the middle of my crease to give it even more depth. If you're watching, please make sure you subscribe. Thank you. <laughs> subscribe, subscribe. He encourages me to that I know that I'm, you know, I'm helping somebody or you know I'm putting out good content. Please, 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 please share this video with other people and you know get them to also subscribe. Encourage your girl. <laughs> All right, let's get back to this. Um, I've already. You can if you can see it here, creating more depth in there. I'm going to be placing the eyeshadow primer on my lids now to do almost like a cut crease but essentially to um, hold my shadow in place so you do need a whole lot of eyeshadow primers because that's their job to hold your you know your shadow your shadow in place so I use a lot of those and I have time of course I mean, when I have time to create like a full eye makeup, which is not all the time. <laughs> I'm going to a wedding or go, to, go into an outing and I have a little bit of time on my hands, I'll do it. Create an arch um, on your eye. Where, you know, this is where I wanted to stop. Some people like it a little higher. I don't want my eyeshadow going all the way up there. And then I just use the tip of my hand to kind of blend out the, so it's not, um, it's not too thick there. It kind of gives it a nice um, ending. What we're going to be doing next is to put the shadow on. The eyeshadow that I'm going to be putting on is this. The eyeshadow I'm going to be putting on is this and this color from um, the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm going to spray it with a spray to, because it's a shimmery color. I'm going to spray it and then go ahead and put that on. When you spray it, it lets it show up more, like you can see the color more vibrantly more vibrant I'm using this color right here this color and look using this color and this color ok 
Okay. The next thing I'm going to be doing is using a darker shade, like a, almost like, it's a brown, a darker brown on this palette, this color. Mixing with this, this two, on the um, ends of it. I'm gonna be packing it right there. That's where we're gonna blend it out. Make sure you blend it out. Once you put a little brown, make sure you blend it out really well. Blend it out. Okay, the next thing I'm going to be doing is putting a duo um, glue right on my eye where I want to place the glitter. I'm going to place the glitter right in between where the two colors meet and I'm gonna be doing a pink glitter. I don't want too much. Just want just a little glitter right there in the, in the middle of the eye. Go ahead and line your eyes.
I've applied my foundation, I've put in my um, concealer, and I've also contoured my face. But all these steps I've done in my previous video, so I didn't bother to go in step by step detail. Um, if they have done a step by step detail in my previous videos, please look at them. Um, I've also put on my blush, that's actually what I'm doing right here. I put on my blush. The next thing I'm going to be doing is applying um, my powder all over my face. Thank you for watching today's episode of Word and Makeup. I hope you were blessed by the word and I hope you love the makeup. If you have not, please kindly consider subscribing to this channel, like this video and share your comments. I love to read them. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.